The following is a step-by-step -step review of the breathing problems case you just saw. It details each action taken by the call taker as she entered the case in ProQA. ProQA Paramount has been designed to work seamlessly with most CAD and phone systems. In this example, you see the CAD screen displaying the caller's address and phone number. After the call taker verifies this information in CAD, it is automatically transferred to ProQA's case entry screen. When ProQA is used in standalone mode, this information can be manually entered into the appropriate fields. The EMD then uses this essential scripted question to get the caller's initial description of the problem. This field allows entry of up to 150 characters of free form text. The ProQA logic will adjust the format of each question depending on whether the caller is the patient, speaking to the patient, or remote from the patient. Once the number of patients is determined, the EMD asks the patient's age and whether he is conscious and breathing. ProQA provides discrete fields for entering these evaluation basics and keeps the EMD on track with an orderly progression of information gathering. Each question represents a necessary dispatch objective. There are multiple ways to select the appropriate chief complaint protocol. It can be selected from an alphabetical list or chosen from a suggested list that ProQA creates when certain conditions such as unconsciousness and respiratory arrest exist. It can be called up by typing in the first few letters of the chief complaint, or you can simply enter its unique numeric code, as the EMD does in this case. Key question answers are displayed on the screen as the EMD enters the information. In this way, the EMD can immediately see if the recorded answers are accurate. If an answer to a key question needs to be changed, the EMD simply clicks on the specific question and the answer is modified. Specific case entry information is continuously displayed in the bottom right-hand side of the screen. ProQA will recommend a final determinant code using a medically approved logic sequence. In this case, ProQA has determined a recommended coding of 6D2. This early identification of high priority cases, all echo and many delta level calls, is a key feature of ProQA's advanced logic system. Local agencies must decide how they will respond to each determinant code based on local resources and needs. ProQA supplies the codes. Your agency supplies the response. As she provides the appropriate post-dispatch instructions, or PDIs, the EMD clicks on the PDI completed button. That corresponds to the letter of the instruction provided. When all appropriate PDIs have been provided, the call taker looks to the Dispatch Life Support Links, or DLS Links. In most cases, the call taker will select the X link to move on to case exit instructions. When the patient is determined to be stable, the EMD completes the routine exit instructions. The call taker then closes the case by clicking on the last instruction, Close Case button, at the bottom of the screen. ProQA returns to CAD and waits to be launched again when the call taker receives another medical case.